Hi, it's Robin Loves Reading and All The Things back with another book review video. You're going to see more of these on this channel. Now, I, I didn't say this in any of my other videos that I'm filming today and I think I'm going to film like a dozen. I was hesitant about how many book reviews I would put on this channel and I decided I'm just going to put up as many actual review titles that I get as I can and then the extra books that I read like A Woman of No Importance or I'm reading Sacagawea now or I reread The Nightingale I'm, I'm not quite sure if I'm gonna put those up on this channel but at least the review titles themselves I'm gonna do my best to get them up here so I just wanted to get that said 49 seconds later let's get started on this review now this book is called The Lake House and it's by Laura Wolf and it will be released on March 17th so uh, it's going to go up on this channel a month after I'm making the video right now so I just wanted to say that uh, but I just want to get uh, these reviews filmed that I have written and that are posted on Goodreads and NetGalley. Now this is a book about five friends and I'll tell you their names Megan, Caitlin, Sam, Charlotte, and Jenna they were college friends mostly all I think they even all were roommates back in college but they've since gone on with their lives and gone in different directions in their lives a couple of them remained close and some of them got distant but now they're getting together and they want to go over old times and they want to kind of re refresh their friendship and and get close again now I'm trying to get a little comfortable forgive me for that now here's the thing i read books that kind of have this thread about going off in the woods and that's what happens in this book and when a bunch of people go off in the woods in mystery thrillers what happens okay now why am I starting off like that talking about this book? It's because one of the women, uh, I won't tell you which one, but she's the one that secures the cabin that these five women are going to stay at. It's a cabin in the middle of nowhere. There's no Wi-Fi. The, the cell phone service is awful, so none of them have bars on their phone. There's no other residents and they're just in the middle of nowhere so you know what's going to happen in this book so when i'm reading the book two books come to mind agatha christie's and then there were none and ruth wears one by one what happened in agatha christie's book what happened in ruth wears book what happens in every type of almost locked room type of story one by one people die that's not a spoiler that's the premise so another part of this book now I gave it four stars maybe others probably lots of others will give it five stars because there was a slasher feel slasher film feel to me when I read this book and I even, I don't think I've ever done this before, but in my written review on my blog, I used all caps. And I typed in, be careful, get away, don't go there. So those were the slasher film that I, that I don't watch. I do probably in my 60 years on this planet can count on one hand how many slasher films I've seen. And I'm probably still only going to come up with one or two. I do not watch them. Nonetheless, that's the feel you get in this book. You got five career women who are making the stupidest decisions. Sorry, just had to say that. That's the vibe I get. Still, it was a good book. <laughs> I know, it sounds like I'm contradicting myself, but I'm really not. So... The story is completely told in Megan's first person perspective. Every scenario, every situation, every recollection is in Megan's voice. Now there's very specific things at play. In their lives prior to getting together 
for this week or weekend, most of them are successful and happy. Most of them have secrets and some of them have lies. So th those years that they spent apart before they got back together, their lives, they were completely scattered in their lives. Um, it was a really good book because on the one hand, you kind of feel that it's going to be predictable. But then on the other hand, it really wasn't predictable. And the lack of predictability was done really well. Or the fact that it, could, that it wasn't as predictable as I imagined it would be was done really well. Because the motive, it was really great unraveling the motive. And it was also great reading this book from Megan's perspective because it's going to play into what's going on now. And the last thing I'm going to say is when you read this book, read it to the very last word. There's a, there are twists and turns in every mystery thriller that you're going to read. It's just inevitable. It's the, it's the way that, it's just the way these books are written. But this book has a twist that takes place to the very, very end of the book. And so I'll just leave it at that. And I'm going to say that I did read one other book by, this is the author's name is Laura Wolf. And I did read one other book by her. So I knew that I was going to really enjoy this book uh, pretty much because I have already had a, a, a short taste of her writing style. So that is the, uh, oh, that book was called, uh, let's see, this one is The Lake House. The other one I read by her was She Lies Alone. So I just want to let you know that. And this was a book of your book. Like I said, it will be released on March 17th. So the video that I'm filming today will just be scheduled for then. So I will put the link in the description below. All along the book cover will have been up on the screen screen and uh, should you purchase the book via my link as an Amazon affiliate you know the rest of the game a few pennies go to me but it doesn't affect your cost of the book so that's it the lake house by Laura Wolf I, I just read something by Leslie Wolf so I had to double check that all right that's it bye bye